How is this possible? Good morning internet, it is 20 past 7 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my journey across Africa. I am right now at the Kalandula Falls in northern Angola and I am sitting on the floor of my hotel room. <laughs> looking at the map and after a long debate i finally decided where i'm gonna go next and i just want to talk you through it because it's all a little bit complicated so i am now right over here in angola and you can see here in namibia south africa is below here and then botswana zambia zimbabwe now if you remember from season five i already traveled here here and here so basically that means that now i want to go from angola into Zambia and then cross into East Africa. And my original plan was to ride to the south of Angola first because there's desert again, there's the Namib Desert. And I've already ridden through the Namib Desert in Namibia, but it extends all the way to Angola. And after all this jungle and mud from West Africa, I was really thinking, you know, I'm, I'm so ready for the desert because riding across the Sahara feels like a lifetime ago. So I was like, I'm gonna go to the Namib Desert. So my plan was to go to the south and then kind of right across here into Zambia. But then I realized that is not possible because, well, this map is a little bit uh, deceiving because it looks like there are some main roads, but they're actually not main roads. Most of this, it's, it's all dirt in the middle of nowhere. And mind you, Angola is a very big country. Eh? I mean, for example, this stretch was 250 kilometers. So riding all across here, it's, it's Far. Either way, there is a border here, but you can't come there with vehicles because there's a the big river here and no bridges or nothing to cross uh, with a motorbike. Then the only other way to get into Zambia is across here. Now you see there is a road here. So first I thought, okay, I can go down here and then I go up here. But then this is terrible and not doable. And then it also means you're on the wrong side of the river because here is the Zambezi and the Zambezi river is a serious river and looking at all the water here in Angola the rainy season is going on there is no way I can ride across the Zambezi river and again there's no bridges there's no ferries or nothing so with a motorbike going across the wild Zambezi river I think it's not possible and I also have that little Congo river swimming incident still pretty fresh in my in my mind so it's not an option. So then leaves the only other option is to take this road, uh, which is all paved until here. That's all brand new Chinese tarmac. Just like the tar you've seen in the last few videos in Angola, that's all built by Chinese and that's brand new. Then from here, it starts to get a little bit adventurous, but it should be doable. And then at least I am on the right side of the river. So then somehow, I, I'm not exactly sure, but somehow you end up on the other side of the Zambezi and then I can cross the border here. But that means that I have to take this road. So if I would want to go to the desert first, I have to backtrack pretty much the same way. So it's all the way back down and then back up again. So that's backtracking like, I don't know, a thousand kilometers or maybe even more, it's days. So then in the end I decided it's just not worth the massive detour all the way to the south just to see the Namib desert that I've already seen and then all the way back up. So I decided no desert for me, unfortunately, and I'm just gonna go straight where I am now go straight east basically. And now maybe you think, but surely there has to be a big road, a normal big road to the border with Zambia that the trucks, for example, will take. Well, there isn't. You would think that, but no. <laughs> it doesn't always work like that. So there's just no main border crossing between Angola and Zambia. And I, I think there's not a lot of trade going on or they take a different route because the only other alternative is going via Namibia because this is all tar 
uh, all the way through the previous strip. So I think that if there's any trucks, for example, they'll probably go here and then through the previous strip and then enter Zambia there. But I've already been there. So in season five, I, I rode all the way until the Angolan border and I rode all the way through the previous strip. So I don't want to go south and then do all of this again where I've already been. In that case, then I rather explore the north part where I haven't been yet. So that is the plan, as short as possible. It also means that today I have a very long day ahead of me because I want to ride 630 kilometers, but it should be on that brand new Chinese paved way. So it should be possible, I think, to do 630 kilometers in one day. I'm going to head for breakfast and then quickly hit the road. Well, I got some really cool food for breakfast. I don't I've never seen this before. I don't know what that is. I have no idea what this is, but it is yum. <laughs> and then I'm also getting some eggs and then some bread and I even have cake. And you can't really see the waterfall. There's a lot of spray at the moment. Ciao. Oh, it's even a bit further than I thought. It's 640 k's. Oh man, it's eight o'clock in the morning now. <laughs> it's gonna be a very long day. Muito obrigada. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Yeah, it's gonna be a long day. But let's see, let's see. Cute house. <laughs> All the flowers. Look at this. There are street lights here and all the houses are painted. Wow, that's actually really cool art. It's just in the middle of nowhere. They, they look abandoned though. See, these houses are, these are all empty. It's all closed. to look. It's just art everywhere. I wonder what the story is behind all of this. It's so cool, look. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> Look at this line. Y también acá y este. Y aquí. Este es el motor. Son dos Alright. 
right? Ah, look at this. It's almost like I'm back in Luanda. This is like a proper city. are also not working here <laughs> same as in Luanda but look at this this is really pretty Tribunal Bomberos look at this interesting buildings what is that? Comité Provincial de Malange. Malange. Not sure how to pronounce this place. I don't know if the traffic lights are doing anything. Church. Oh, it's a big one. This is the hospital, pink hospital. been a huge landslide here look at this all of this came down from the cliff Oof, yeah. so scary right brand new road already destroyed Bom dia! Passaporte? É. Ok. Is this possible? I mean, you can't blame an accident like this on bad road conditions. How did this happen? Obrigada. Here is some shade. Okay, so it is now 12.30 and I have 282 kilometers to go, so I'm more than halfway. It's going pretty well and <laughs> I brought a piece of cake from breakfast because cake for breakfast is not really my thing. But I thought, I can I have that for lunch? And then I'm gonna Chuck my fuel in my tanks and then I continue. Oh, it's getting hot now. It's when I came down that mountain, it felt like I was riding straight into an oven and the temperature increased like 10 degrees or something. Like it's, it's really hot here. I just had no clue that I was, I must have been on some kind of plateau without realizing it. Cause yeah, it was a lot cooler where I was before. Six 
63,000. Bom dia. Tudo bem? Tá bom? Sim. Tá em Luanda? Não, hoje de Calandula. Calandula? Hoje. Oito horas. Tá bom, tudo bem? Tá bom, tudo bem. Tá bom, tudo bem. para marcar o quilômetro, né? GPS. GPS. Oh, tá bem. Anda com o GPS e tudo. Obrigada. Oito horas, gato. Oito horas, gato. Oito horas, gato. Oito horas, gato. Vai para onde? Fútbol, Zambia. Zambia. Hoje é aqui. Ah, hoje vai dormir aqui? Aqui são Sim. Dia. Amanhã vai nos dar? Sim. Vai meter gasolina aqui depois? Sim, yeah. sim. Yeah. Ok, obrigada. Tchau. Tchau, obrigada. Eles parecem impressionados que eles falaram de estar aqui em 8 horas. Eu sei, é muito longe. But I'm here, I'm here. I made it. Saurimo. And I got really lucky because that rain cloud, I just missed it. <laughs> I was really close, it's just over there. But I didn't catch any rain. But yeah, it's interesting that that policeman said uh, that I should fill up here. And I told him I'm going to Zambia. Of course, that was already my plan, but still, it probably means that uh, yeah, there's not going to be any fuel, or very little, <laughs> on the way. Yeah, there's another Keveseki. Boa tarde. Uh, eu, eu posso parquear atrás? De site. Ok, obrigada. Obrigada. Boa tarde. Ok, boa tarde. And I made it! I made it to an actually pretty decent hotel and they even have an attached restaurant, which I'm super happy with. 
so I don't have to go out on the street looking for food. Uh, but I made it to Sarimo, so I'm super happy that I did this because there wasn't anything to see along the way, like honestly. I mean, it was, it was nice, the scenery was nice, but it was just kind of all the same for like 600 kilometers. <laughs> So, and I already expected that. So I was like, I'd rather than just cover all of that in one go, in one day, be over with it, and then, you know, head for some more interesting stuff. Nothing much else to say, except that I look forward to the next riding day, because yeah, getting towards the border with Zambia is gonna be a little bit of a different story. <laughs> I just asked the guy down at reception, he spoke pretty good English. And I was like, how is the road towards Zambia? And he's like, no, we don't go there. <laughs> he said, we take airplanes. I was like, oh, okay. So I think that says it all. Anyway, that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I will see you in the next video.